It is a privilege to be joined today on the summit by Coach Adam Bohach, who is the new head coach for the Central Missouri Mules, announced back in March of this year. I guess some of the newness may be wearing off right now as the season approaches and you've had the summer to get ready and into the fall. Coach, the first thing I want to do, though, is, is wish you congratulations. It's my first opportunity to get to talk with you since you were announced as the head coach there. A historic program and a great place in Warrensburg to be. So talk about that for just a moment in your new opportunity. Yeah, well, thank you, Joey. Thanks for having me on, and um, it's nice to see you as well. Um, my family and I are thrilled uh, to be here at the University of Central Missouri and, um, you know, had an amazing uh, 15 years at, at Southern Nazarene and just spent with uh, incredible people there and, uh, you know, have been asked the question a hundred times, well, you know, why leave? And, um, and I think it's as much a a, a personal thing as it, as it was a professional and, and certainly a, a tremendous professional opportunity. But uh, my wife and I had been married and, and my kids all born there. We'd only done life in Oklahoma City. And so when this opportunity presented itself and uh, just really excited about the, the chance to, to do life somewhere else and um, just an adventure as a family and a, and a new opportunity as a family. So uh, extremely thankful for the 15 years at Southern Nazarene and feel like that really helped prepare us and uh, position us to, to maybe try to lead a program somewhere else. And um, you mentioned the University of Central Missouri, Joey. I mean, it's an iconic brand, uh, in my opinion, in, in Division II college basketball. Um, certainly as, as we were making the jump into Division II at Southern Nazarene, um, Central Missouri was a big time player. Um, in, in Division II hoops. And uh, so very familiar with the program from a distance and the program's reputation and um, have just been really excited to, to be here and, and get to work with the folks here uh, on campus who, who really care about the student athletes and, and in the community um, like Warrensburg that really wraps its arms around the university and, and helps love on the student athletes as well. Well, I, I appreciated your time at Southern Nazarene, of course, 15 years as the head coach, near, nearly two decades there overall. And in your stint, more than 300 wins, including a run to the Sweet 16 in Division II last year. And you kind of win over one of those MIAA teams along the way in Northwest Missouri. That, that's, uh, I, I think, a hallmark win for the program, maybe for you as well. So speaking of the MIAA now, as you're a part of that league, the preseason polls came out this past week. Central Missouri ranked or listed at number 10. I guess ranked. It's a preseason ranking. Listed at number 10 in the preseason poll. Talk about that coming in and, and playing now in this new conference. Yeah, excited to be a part of the MIAA. Um, last week we had MIAA Media Days, which are in downtown Kansas City at the college basketball uh, experience, which uh, just – unbelievable the um, amount of preparation amount of work they put into pulling that off it was first class joey um, in every way commissioner mike racy and and his staff at the miaa um, boy that has a big time feel to it and and really got the butterflies going and, and means the the season is right around the corner so we were able to take a couple of our players there with us to um to experience media days and um, and boy, you look around at, at the coaches that are there and the programs they represent and um, and you know that um, it, it's going to be a, a, a really steep challenge and um, and it's going to be a battle every night and, and certainly something we're working hard to prepare for and, and looking forward to. And you talk about those coaches, some some of them have been with their programs for a long time. I believe I saw this right. Uh, a number of new coaches in the league, but seven new coaches, six of them were with women's programs. So you're the only new coach on on the men's side there. You get an opportunity to, to make your name known, but you were talking about fixtures in the league, and that most certainly are. One of the things I've, I've seen about your teams in the time that I've had the opportunity to cover Southern Nazarene and, and cover the program while you were there, you're a defensive-minded coach, and, and you, you – teach and coach a team to play defense well it's a priority now in saying that it doesn't take away from what the, the teams do offensively because i've seen those teams at southern nazarene put points on the board in a big time way but talk about that mindset and, and what it will mean in lawrenceburg at ucm this year yeah i appreciate you saying that joey I, you know i think the the very best coaches can coach and teach offense 
Um, and so we're working really, really hard at, at trying to coach and teach offense better. Um, you know, there's a guy that, that lives in that town you're in, um, <laughs> and Coach Kelly Green, who can really, really, really coach and teach offense. Um, I think it's much more difficult um, to coach and teach offense. Um, you know, I think defense, you can you can have a, a set of rules and um, a set of principles that, that you want to play to um, and, and hold guys accountable that way. And, and we have had some really good defensive teams. Um, that's a mixture of just the personalities of those teams and the personalities of, of those players being committed to one another and loving one another on on that end of the floor. But but I think when you talk about winning championships, uh, you have to be able to do it on on both ends. And, um, you know, it's it's no uh, surprise that uh, the teams that are ranked near the top at the end of the season in in offensive efficiency are the teams that make the deepest runs into March. And, and so um, I, I think you got to be solid defensively. You got to have a spirit and a personality to your team and your program. I believe that that has some toughness um, and some selflessness, and, and maybe that's best expressed defensively. Uh, but to be a championship program, you have to be really, really good on offense as well. We're here on the summit today, speaking with Coach Adam Bohotch, the new head coach at Central Missouri. And I appreciate you stopping by the channel. Please subscribe to the channel and continue to enjoy our videos here. This is actually episode number 250 of the wow. summit. So, Coach, I appreciate you being on with me on this milestone episode here on the channel as well. I, talking about the, the play then, uh, let's look at some of the, the faces you'll have. A lot of new faces that will be on that roster as four returnees coming back from last season's team at Central Missouri and a bunch of new faces. Can you tell us a little bit about what uh, the, the the fans who are coming to the multi-purpose building are going to be seeing? Yeah, that's uh, thanks, Joey. The um, really excited about our four returners. Um, blessed to have those guys in the program. You know, anytime there's a change, um, everyone has choices and and boy, those four guys um, have been coached well. Um, Coach Carl Skinn and his staff, uh, I mean, those kids are tough. Um, they, they know how to practice. Um, uh, they know how to be a part of a team and a program. And so really appreciate those guys making the choice um, to stay and, and to be with us. Um, and, and I think all four of those guys will have their fingerprints all over our, our team this season in terms of, of what we're able to accomplish. and. Um, you know, kind of initially helping us uh, get started here. Um, but there's there's a nice mixture there. Um, you know, I, uh, Jordan Hayes is a young man who will be a senior. Uh, Jordan's a, a Dallas Metroplex kid. Um, and, and so you're very familiar and, and cover a lot of those down there, um, Joey. But uh, Jordan, uh, super tough, um, has done a great job here early for us uh, in terms of just handling the basketball. And, um, has maybe been um, as good as anybody on our roster right now at understanding who he is and what he does best. Um, and, and the way we want to play offensively is to allow guys, encourage guys to, to do what they do best. And, and Jordan Hayes does a great job of that. Um, and, and so he's certainly been a bright spot here um, early as we get going. Um, but you mentioned 11 new guys, and so, um, you know, several of those guys will play prominent roles and um, have really began to establish themselves. Um, Caleb Nero is a name that comes to mind. Um, Caleb uh, would be familiar with, with some of uh, the folks in Oklahoma. He's a Tulsa kid and, um, you know, graduated last year from the University of North Dakota um, and is with us as a grad transfer with, with one season of eligibility. And so feel blessed that Caleb chose to spend his final season with us. And, um, and he's had a tremendous fall and, and I think is really, really talented and, um, you know, will be able to score the basketball uh, for us this year, hopefully in a, in a big, in a, in a big way. So um, other than that, there's, there's a uh, hundred new guys we could talk through um, each day. It, it looks a little different. Um, but they're all trying really hard. Um, they all want to be good. Um, and, and so now it's our job, you know, to help them and, and, and help shape it as we, as we move forward here to, to opening day to, 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 to get ready to play. Opening day less than a month away at this point in time. And I, I don't know how it feels for you. It, it seems like that this 2023 has gone by quickly. And, and I'm sure that uh, you're probably enjoying the time and want to make the most of every opportunity prior to November 10th. And that's when things get started. You'll be on the road, though, to open your schedule. And it seems to be appropriate that you'll be taking on two Great American Conference teams 
<laughs> where you've been for the last few years uh, to open your schedule, taking on Washita and Harding on a Friday and Saturday in Fort Smith, the neutral site for those two contest and then you're back at home for the first time in the multi-purpose building which by the way is a a fantastic facility and absolutely well you mentioned iconic earlier and i think so i think that's a word for the multi-purpose building it's just a great place first opportunity for the mules fans to see you all at home that'll be on november 18th as you take on missouri s and t so talk a little bit about the opening to your schedule yeah, you know, it's it's really interesting, Joey. You you um, get a new opportunity, a new job, and, and boy, the roster is in flux and, and there's no schedule. And so you're just, you know, um, trying to, to plug holes and, and, and get some guys and, and then make a schedule kind of all at the same time. And um, and so, you know, I don't know if we're fortunate or not. We're fortunate to have a schedule. I don't know if we're fortunate to open up with Wachita Baptist. Um, that'll be a really stiff test uh, for us to, to, to start the season. But um, thankful to, to be able to find uh, one of those conference challenges, um, you know, so late um, in the process. And, and so we'll open, as you mentioned, with Wachita and Harding and, and then get a chance to come back here and play at home. And boy, I've been impressed. Uh, you know, our Mules football team is off to just uh, a wonderful start to their season. And and the crowd and the excitement um, and the way the community has wrapped its arms around around their team and program, um, you know, really has me looking forward to to starting the season and and seeing what uh, what the multi can be like uh, with some people in here yelling and screaming um, and and supporting us. So um, looking forward to, to getting started and and really looking forward to, to having a chance to to play here in the multi purpose center. Well, Coach, it's it's an honor to get to visit with you always. I appreciate what you've done over the years, and, and I'm looking forward to what you're going to do with your new endeavor in Warrensburg at the University of Central Missouri, the new head coach of the men's basketball team, Coach Adam Bohach. Thank you, sir, for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Yeah, thank you, Joey.